Hello, my loves, and welcome to What You Whippin' on Wednesday. Well, my whips fold me right upside the head. I feel like I didn't get anything done this week, but I kind of did. So you want to know? You want to see what I did? Do you want to see? Do you want to see? <laughs> so first, here we go. Bod had a palooza. This is my Bod had a palooza substitution uh, for last week. And this is the everything but the kitchen sink. There is every row is a different stitch. And I used mandala roving. And so I kind of played with this so it would really highlight. I put that little color there. But yeah, and she got the beautiful little, all of the, thi all of, here I go with all of the things. Can I got to find a new catchphrase. <laughs> Say it way too much. It's like, um. <laughs> but, uh, um. <laughs> anyway, so Bod Had a Palooza, week number 50. Here is Bod Had a Palooza, week number 51. <laughs> you guys want to see it on it's so cute excuse the the domesis this thing is so cute i love it but i love crystal put a a bridal band she put the bling right there i think i need some bling too now this is the it's a bucket hat that she uses um a millinery millinery wire in it and this is the yarn, same yarn that she used, but mine is in this variegated kind of purples and grays and stuff. And this is Lion Brand Re Rewind. I always want to call it Retweed. I don't know why. Rewind tape yarn. And Crystal used like a beige, but I had this from all of those mystery boxes. Was it last year from when Lion Brand had all of this tape yarn in their in their mystery boxes. Oh, I didn't bring it over here. I meant to bring a skein of it so you could see. But anyway, so you can see, I'll get close. You can see the purple and the grays. But anyway, so this is the bucket hat. And what I did is I held two strands of it together and I didn't make my bill as long. And um, yeah, that's really cute. At first I was gonna put this in the bucket to go to um, um, Bumblebee, I almost, why, a oh, why do I always want to say freaking Blueberry? Bumblebee Mountain Outreach. But um, I think this one needs to stay with me because it's really, really soft and really, um, I like little bucket hats. So I guess it looks all right. <laughs> Let me put my other one on. But yeah, so that's Spot Hat a Palooza week 51 and that that bow whip the bow out of that one and um this like i said this was last week and let's see some more whips let's talk about more whips this whip right here is so i just made a simple a simple beanie and i put some popcorns in the top um, well, no, they're not popcorns. They are, they are nubblies. They're my cobblestone. And so I just did a basic beanie. And now what I'm doing is I'm making little floppy puppy ears. And it's going to have little ears, little fluffy ears. So this was a request from um, one of my sons for his babe. And yeah, so that's for Barbar. Bar. That's another whip, working on that. Um, I was just not happy with all of the floppy ears I was finding. I was like, I wanted them to, to cut right about here and I wanted them almost like my sun bunny. I'm, maybe I need to get a hold of Miss C and see what she used for the bunny ears. Cause I want them to be like Snoopy ears. You know, they're floppy like beagle ears. I believe how parched I am. That's like my third bottle in a very short period of time. I feel very thirsty today. Um, let's see. Another whip. I've got this one on the hook. I just started it and enjoying it as always. And you can't really tell what it is right now because of this busy variegated yarn. <laughs> but this is that I love this yarn print. So it's like grays and blacks and a little light. 
And I think it's gonna look cool once it's finished, but this is the um, co uh, Collision Course by Juan the Yarn Addict. If he, this is the recent spin the wheelie giggy thing. So that's that one I'm working on. Uh, this will be done tonight. Um, that is, yeah, Collision Course. Check him out, Juan the Yarn Addict. So cute. Uh, the, I love, um, it's one of my favorite ways. I, I've actually done it before. Um, where you use the spinner wheel thing. And I used it to pick how many rows and what stitch. And he, okay, I guess he is doing that too. How many row repeat and, or how many stitches in each and then how many stitches. So it's been really fun. I'm, I'm really having fun participating. And in fact, this one, I was wearing this one for, for um, luck of the draw. And this is the crown jewel and latte cakes, because we love them a latte. <laughs> yeah, low energy today, guys. I am whooped. I'm gonna get this going. You're gonna notice there's probably not gonna be all the little fancy schmancy, you know, editing and stuff. I'm really tired today. So I just wanted to make sure to get this on. Let's see, we've talked about that. We've talked about the beanie. Um, Themis, I haven't done, well, I've done a little bit on it since the live, um, but not really. Um, you can see where I've started, I finished the gray and now I'm started the cobblestone-ish, you know, this light, this light little one right there. But yeah, this one's, this is turning out so pretty. I really love it. And it's like really warm and squishy. And it's, this is gonna be really warm. So having fun making Themis. Uh, if you guys haven't seen about that, that is my a hug for me, a hug for you. I'm making this one in the month of December. And then in January, I am going to take my minis, which my minis are over there. And I'm going to make a hug for me and then give away this one. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be fun for January. I'm probably going to be going live Saturday mornings, I'm thinking. Um, that probably like 10... Yeah, maybe like 10, I don't even know. See, if I do 11 a.m., that has me coming on right before Granny D. So I'll have to see. I don't want to stomp too many toes. I know that's like prime time real estate right there. Um, so, you know, if you can make it, great. If you can't, I hope to see you on the replay. Um, it's been really fun going live on Fridays and has seeing everybody. And I did, there was a, um, a couple people that were asking what this is. And this is the Edlothia shawl by Jasmine Rossinon, Rossinen. It's on Ravelry, but it's called, oh, I can never pronounce it, Edlothia. And my Gary Urban Yarn made this for me. Um, and uh, this is a very, very special piece to me. Because uh, Gary made it for me when we lost our first Granberry. <laughs> Granberry. He is a Granberry. He was a little berry. We lost our first grandbaby during his birth in March. So my beautiful friend sent me a hug and it meant the world. Thank you so much, Gary. Um, again, you have no idea how much that means to me. Um, every day I look up and I see this and I know that, you know, we'll have we'll have more. And, and then I got the most beautiful Christmas card from my Sam and Mike from across the pond. And, and then also this cute little right here. Um, it's a little diamond painted ornament. Thank you, Sam. Sam, it's so, she's so precious. She decorates the cards. Like you see a little easiest way to show you is so you see how there's like little holly? She hand drew all of that. And then on the back, like she hand drew all that. And Sam has the most beautiful handwriting. And thank you for your support, girlfriend. But cutest little Christmas card, so precious. I love you guys so much. Um, sorry I have been kind of absent, but I'm always in the background watching. <laughs> I love you guys. And so proud of you, Mike. I've been seeing your hugs go out and you, again, have no idea how much that means to me to see people doing the hashtag hugs. It's amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Send someone a hug because you can't do it yourself. 
Leave them. It's so great. It doesn't have to be a shawl. It can be a blanket too. I even have a head hug. That's a right there. Hug and keep me warm. All right. I think that's it. Oh, uh, luck of the draw. Finish. This is blanket number three. I had to. It's yeah. I finished it. <laughs> So I wasn't going to get all seven weeks. So I went ahead and finished this one. This is luck of the draw. Um, this is uh, blanket number four through week 12. And now I've started the fourth blanket. And this is my main color. This, tea, this like, I want to call that turquoise. It's not really teal because it's not green enough. But anyway, this greenish within my first week. Uh, color number four was this purple. And on this one, instead of doing a window row, I put nubblies in there because I needed to do something different. And I wanted to put some texture on this one. So there's my luck of the draw, blanket four through week 12. And then tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., the uh, week 13 number will drop. Drop it, drop, drop it like it's hot because we having fun, fun, fun. Don't, don't take my T-bird away. Okay, I'm being silly because I'm absolutely exhausted. I am working on another project, but you guys can't see that because it's a test for a very special spider. So fun. This is a killer. It's going to be beautiful. Um, and that's it. Not much this week. Um, as soon as I'm finished with Boggy Creek and um, yeah, I'm almost finished with that. I'm going to jump back on my Bag of Day, Monstera, and my um, Atlanticus. I just took a break for the month of December because I had, you know, things that were due in December. So if you're watching me, Crystal, Crystal, I'm still working on them. I promise you'll have them no later than February. <laughs> so I figured the auction's in August. or oh, Bad girl. The, she's going to think I'm out having the auction in April. I'm so tired. The words just escape. But you know what I meant. It had letters in it. One of these days, someone's going to catch that and be like, oh, I see what you did there. But yeah, so that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys had a beautiful holiday. Stay safe during, um, I said, will I see you again? I will see you Friday. So I will get to say Happy New Year then. Um, so Friday the 29th, I will see you. Oh, what am I forgetting to talk about? Because I'm a picker, you're a picker. Wouldn't you like to be a picker? <laughs> Hooker versus Hooker. You guys got to come check out Hooker versus Hooker. It's amazing. With Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farm Animals. That's Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming, Laura. And Jan over at an Alaskan Crapper. I mean, Crafter. See, well, I'm giving information I shouldn't be messing about, right? So here it is. Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farm. Ing. <laughs> Want to say farm animals. And Jan from Alaskan Crafter uh, are hosting a little segment called Hooker versus Hooker. And what it is, is the two of them, they, we put names, people, you um, request to be a part of it. You send an email. Like right now, we just did January. And so there's a, a podcaster selected a viewer, subscriber selected, and then someone selected to pick the project and someone that picks the colors. And so I got chosen to be a, a picker, which I'm a project picker. <laughs> so I get to pick the project. Lynn Como gets to pick the colors. I see our, I think our surprise, I say surprise, our subscriber was Deidre or Deirdre. Who was the con? I oh, and the um, content creator, I believe, is Yarn is a Sport. I'm not real familiar with her. I believe her name is Dawn. So she's the content creator. And then what it is is everybody has to make the project that I'm going to pick. And then we vote to see who made it the best. Head explosions. So fun. I'm going to keep applying because I want to make it too. This time I just got selected to pick it because I'm a picker. Pick, pick, pick a, pick a, pick a, pick a, pick a peppers. <laughs> so go and check that out, guys. It's going to be so much fun. We need, to, we need participation. Participation. 
So come do it, because dinner is prepared. I'm going out. Hooker versus hooker. I'll drop the deets in the description thingy. All right. Say bye, homie, nomi. Bye, homie, nomi. And yarn is life.